Today I'm going to give you a lesson on how you use your braille display and uh, read to go. Now you can take three fingers and you can just page lightly page flick five. to One each item. page and make sure your Double student is doing open. all this and uh, not packages. the teacher. Uh, or if you want to use your braille display, you can do four, five, six space to jump to the Stop. bottom of your page. Take your joystick and move it to the left. Mail. Safari. Page one of two. When you hear page one of two or two of three or whatever that is, just press straight down your joystick and you will move to the next page. Now we are still at the bottom of the screen, so if you know you're at adjustable or one or two or two or three, you want to go to the top of your page uh, or you can move, continue to move your joystick to the left, either one. Uh, but if you need to move the top of your page, you can do one, two, three, space to move to the top. One new item. Take your joystick and Twitter. move it to the left. Excuse me, move it to the right. Calculate pages. Game spoke. Find iPhone Air display. Read to go. There's read to go. Double and tap to open. whenever it says double tap to open, you press straight down on your joystick, or you can do dot eight and space. That is also enter. So page one of read to go. Search heading. Now, if you are not in search. Search is down at the bottom. You have four options down at the bottom of your iPad, bookshelf, bookshelf, search, settings, and help. And to get down there, you want to do four, five, six, space. Help. Tab. There's your help. Four, four. Move to the left. Settings. Tab. Selected. Search. Bookshelf. And bookshelf tab. is where all of your books are at. But we want to search. Selected. So if you search. were not on tab. search to begin Two, with, go to search and press straight down on your joystick and your search option will open. We now need to jump up to your spotlight. Your spotlight is basically just the search item uh, at the top. So we want to do one, two, three, space to jump to the search. top. Heading. And it says search. Make sure you're on your search heading. Selected. Title slash and that is tab. title author. If, it, if I wanted something else, of course, I would uh, move further. But I want to use title and author. Title tab. Two of four. There's my title tab. Now, if I only know the title, then of course I'm going to press straight down on that. So just to show you how easily it is to move, I'm just going to press straight down my joystick and I move to the title option. So now I'm going to continue author. to move title slash author. Search field. to my search field, double press tap to edit. straight down because it said double tap to edit. And once it's uh, selected, I'm going to type in my title and type that in. And this time for enter, I'm going to do uh, dot eight and space bar. It's also the same thing as pushing straight down on your joystick. Title slash results. Search. Back button. And, uh, and then it automatically downloads. So I'm going to go ahead and move my joystick to the right. Results. Heading. Here's my results. Results 174. Scarlet. Alexandra Ripley slash Stevens Mitchell. And that is the Scarlet that I want. I can also continue to search for more. Scarlet. Alexandra Ripley. And when I actually get to the book, so I'm going to go ahead and move my joystick back to the uh, left. Scarlet. Alexandra Ripley. And I'm going to select Stevens that. Mitchell. And once again, I can actually either press straight down on my joystick or I can do dot eight and space bar to select this book. Results. In progress. And it begins Book downloading. Email. Results. Back button. So now I need to select the student that goes with this book. Email. So I just move my joystick Scarlet. to the right. Select students. There's button. select my student. So I need to press straight down on the joystick or once again select A students. and space bar. Cancel button. And I'm select going to students. select my Haley student. Download select students. Please wait. And now I'm downloading the book. Alert. Download complete. Would you like to read and now it's going to ask me, do I want to go ahead and read this? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Would you like to read it now? Don't no button. Yes. And I'm just moving my joystick to the right to select the option that I want. I'm going to go ahead and press straight down on my joystick, or I can use dot a and space bar. Notice bookshelf. Button. Now, the book comes up. At this point, I could go ahead and move my joystick all the way down to the bottom to the play option. And to get down there quickly, you just do four, five, six, and space. Next section. 
button. And if you do not put the Braille options in, all you can do with your Braille display at this moment is really move around the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the left. Play, pause. And there's Play, Pause. And you can go ahead and press and begin Notice. reading. This accessible media has been made available to people with bona fide I'm going to go ahead and press it to stop it. Uh, because now I want you to go ahead and see the options for uh, reading it with the Braille display. Uh, you have to change your modes, otherwise you are basically going to be listening to this book. So I'm going to do one, two, three, space to go back to the top, Shell. Button. and I'm going to go to my options by moving my joystick to the right. Navigation. Button. Navigation, that will allow me to jump to chapters that I want. Set bookmark. Button. There's set bookmarks, so when I'm done reading a particular paragraph and I need to leave, I absolutely want to set my bookmark so I can come back exactly to the place I left off. Settings. Button. And here are my settings. So I need to open my settings, so I'm going to go ahead and press down on the joystick. Settings. So okay. we need to go to the visual and the audio. Visual. Visual. So I'm pushing the joystick to the right to get to visual, and now I'm going to open that option. Visual settings. Heading. So now I need to go down to display by page, and so I'm going to go ahead and keep moving my joystick to the right. And I need to turn that off, so I need to go ahead and press off. And there's restore defaults if you've changed everything and you just want to really get back to the original. So I'm going to do one, two, three, space, visual settings, and go back settings. to my settings, and I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And now I need to go ahead and go to audio. Font size, visual, audio. And I'm going to press right down on the joystick to audio open that. And it says read to go audio. Read to go audio. Switch and I need to turn on. that off because I want this student to be able to read from the Braille display on this. So now let's go back to settings, one, two, three, space, Audio set settings. and go to settings and press straight down on settings. settings. And to get off, you just have your student reach up and double tap on. So now let's go ahead and navigate to the first chapter. And now the student is going to have to read from the Braille display open and let's go down to our first chapter page tab bookmark tab three of search selected notice and I'm just moving my joystick to the right so two level one three level one uh chapter one is where I want to be so I'm going to go ahead and press down on my joystick to jump to chapter one and I always jump back to the bookshelf so I want to get down into the book I'm just going to move my joystick to the right settings one heading level one now, at this point, you are going to have your child read from his Braille display. All he has to do... Soon, and then I can go home to Tara. So we want to go ahead and turn off any audible speech here. And that's just 134. Speech off. And now let's go ahead and begin reading our book. And you can either do a 5 and space to move forward, 2 and space to move back, or you can go ahead and as the child reads, they are going to progress with the advance key. Very easy. And the book just reads along very quickly. Now visually, you can see this moving on your iPad. But of course, the child continues to read with their fingers. They want to trade fingers, practice using the right hand. They can just use your pinky for your advance key. Very easy. Now, when the child is done and they need to bookmark this, have them hit one, two, three, space to go to the top, to their bookshelf, and then they're going to move to their bookmark. And of course, this is telling them on their pad. Because remember, your speech is off. It is now bookmarked. So now when they come back, it will be ready for them. So let's go ahead and go back to your bookshelf. So one, two, three, space, and it says bookshelf. Press straight down. So you can turn the speech off. You do not have to have it on. You can have both your speech and your Braille display, just the Braille display or just the voice. Many options here. So go ahead and practice those options and see how they work for you.